Prancula, good morning. Oh, good morning. Ooh, good morning. Good morning. Please move it's the morning. please move the cursor from French from Francis's face so I can she can join in the shot of shadow deliciousness of the Kevin McCarthy tapes. Ooh, I'm bathing in them. Bathing in it, and girl. Angela's actually growing an American flag out of the back of her head. Um, <laughs> that's for democracy. You know, I'm I can, we can't keep Marjorie up fast Taylor enough. Green room. <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Green is probably either committing perjury or implicating herself in January. As we speak, Chairman Harrison wanted to make uh, you know some time this morning yeah. to talk to get some thoughts on Kevin McCarthy, and that's before these latest Kevin McCarthy tapes. Of- <laughs> and I love what you guys said. You had some thoughts on Liz. Oh yeah, yeah. We mm-hmm. we all know that Liz. Those tapes are straight from Liz's pockets. Yep. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. You know that in the Cheney household, the day wasn't the day if you didn't make tapes on each other. That's right. We all know that. They mama probably gave out new tapes every morning with the Rice Krispie. That <laughs> yes. is how probably how she it's probably how she outed her sister to her parents. Really? Well, I have a tape of you with your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I love this. I don't know where these tapes came they from. Came from mm-hmm. My pockets. Mm-hmm. They came from Liz's pockets. Mm-hmm. I'm saying she could have passed it. She could have passed it to the other Velociraptor, so she evades responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something. I wouldn't talk to any of these people without taping my conversations either. Because <laughs> exactly, I don't need to be you're right. Up in- felonies yes they're constantly committing felonies i don't need to be caught up in that here's the fascinating thing about having a three-hour show when we started the show we said like oh well this is hugely embarrassing for kevin mccarthy but i don't know if it's legally you know he's legally culpable for anything cut to oh (laughs) it's on tape saying trump admitted right responsibility for January, meaning that he has got to testify now right he's got to i mean and, he's got to and, and you know what and, and and i hope he is exposed for the liar that he is yeah. because he is a liar and you know and i don't think it'll make any difference to uh the gop but we know you yeah know, well them. but glenn said it goes to consciousness of guilt right yeah. that, that you yeah. know he obviously was talking trump was talking about getting a pardon from mike pence so he did, that's consciousness of guilt he knew what he was doing. You don't was... get pardoned from innocence. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. you don't. <laughs> What's that, Frangela? You know? would, would you like to? I made some fresh uh, tapes for you this morning. Would you like Ooh, to? We enjoy? got new audio. Yes. Okay. Here would be the, Ooh, so oh, this would be the latest thing that Kevin swimming. McCarthy issued a very strong denial over. Yes. <laughs> what? Okay, here it is. But let me be very clear to all of you, and I've been very clear to the president. Mm-hmm. He bears responsibilities for his words and actions. Oh. No ifs, ands, or buts. I asked him personally today, does he hold responsibility for what happened? Does he feel bad about what happened? He told me he does have some responsibility for what happened. Um, And he needs to acknowledge that. Okay. I just wanted to do all those looks to everybody in the room. Uh Okay. Yeah, Yeah, we Um, got it. Wow. Wow. I I think that's legally significant. Get Glenn back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But I mean, I really do find it interesting that whenever it comes to this president and the corrupt GOP, we end up talking about issues as important as insurrection and trying to overthrow the government and absolutely successfully stopping for the first time in our nation's history, the peaceful transfer of power, as if it's something like he didn't make his bed yesterday and he needs to take responsibility for it. Yeah. It's like, he's a traitor. And I feel like the cowardice (laughs) of Mitch McConnell is almost... I, I don't know, on a par with Worth on McCarthy, who can say? But him saying of the impeachment, th- the Democrats will take care of this son of a bitch for us. What a coward. Yeah. Right? And then, of yeah. course, yeah. the whole party and was whole- too cowardly, except for Mitt Romney, to hold him accountable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And exactly. because when we... Go ahead. Uh-oh, Francis has frozen. Yeah. Uh-oh. Tra- oh, because uh, Travis. Travis, Travis had his hand up. Yeah. <laughs> Marge is on the stand now. Oh, Marjorie Sporkfoot is on the stand, everybody. Oh, there you are. I you're know, back, I'm Francis. watching. Okay, you're back, Francis. What were you saying? She wasn't trying. Yeah, because their only point is power. Yeah. They want to have power. That's it. And nothing else is important. Not democracy, not the truth, not, uh, not serving their constituents. It's simply power. Yeah. And Angela, I was just saying to uh, Chairman Harrison, I really feel like we can win on these cultural issues. It's just there's all this, you know, 
sound and fury. And I'm like, what? okay, is this all about teaching that racism is bad and gay people exist? Is that it? Is that, is that what this is about? I mean, it just, it, this seems like the government it's, it's trying to get racism. all up right in your grill. Yeah. It's because we never really stopped fighting the Civil War. Right. And, I, and, and, and the reality is they, these are white nationalists. And when, this is the thing about isms you know, and prejudice, just like STDs, they travel in packs. It is very rare to find somebody who is anti-Semitic, but very pro LGBTQ rights. Right. Like that just isn't how that works, generally right. speaking. Right. And obviously, you know, the blueprint is the senator, the state senator from Michigan, Senator Mallory, and I cannot think of her full Mc name at the very second. Mallory McMorrill. Yeah. McMorrill, yes. Mm -hmm. That is the blueprint. Stop running from the label woke and start owning it. You know, well, and it's like, like stop it's what you running from it. It's what you guys always say. She says it's time for straight white Christian suburban moms to get uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, and go out on a limb. Right. I mean, They're coming for you, too. <laughs> yes. Well, they, they've already come for you. Yeah. They've already come for that woman, and and what and 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 what that rep on the Republican side, that woman has said it's okay. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, if you keep voting these people in into office, it's okay for you to be oppressed. Yeah, and she just basically says it's not okay to bully gay kids. You know, I it, yeah. it was the perfect example of the first they came. I said nothing because I'm a straight white Christian suburban mom, and as you said, that they're coming for you next. I love Shauna's tweet. She said, when I was five, my single mom and I lived with a lesbian couple for a bit. Sometimes girls like other girls, my mom explained. I thought this was amazing and immediately made two of my Barbies a power couple. <laughs> 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 yes. Lifetime scarring of this yeah. child. <laughs> but th that's, that is what they're about. They're about hate and they and, at, at the expense of everything else. And they don't care what they do or who gets hurt. You yeah. know, when you look at what DeSantis is in, and is doing in Florida, it makes zero sense. Yeah. Like from every and point you know, of view outside of hate. And you know, James Carville said it this week, but I kind of agree. It's just become a party of weirdos, you know, like these yeah. QAnon weirdos and, and uh, testicle tanners. Um, could you take your organ out for me, Chris? Right like, away, Miss Miller. I'm here in California. Did you, have you heard this California mm. MAGA candidate? Uh, Rachel Ham, a Republican candidate for Secretary of State in California, claimed in an interview God will commit voter, voter fraud on her behalf to cancel out Democrats if they try to steal the election from her. I would pray that I win. One thing I've been doing is praying that if anyone tries to steal a vote, that God will send the angels to steal the vote back to make it an honest vote. She's previously announced to run for Secretary of State after claiming that Jesus appeared to her son in her closet and handed her a scroll commanding her mm -hmm. to run she also claims she has verified uh, Trump was the real winner of the 2020 election using her empath powers. Oh my mm -hmm. God. So that's mm -hmm. a, become a... I mean, wackadoo. Mainstream that's Republican. On, that's on all of us. I mean, that's on all of us. That, that is, because we somebody's supposed to give her her pill, her apple juice, and her and, and, and give her her nap time. Yeah. And instead, they put a microphone in front of her face. And this is what happens when people miss their dosage. Who forgot, this is what who forgot the juice box? That's what we want to know. That's what I'm saying. There was a time in this country was there where we cared about mental health. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Saying. I thought you were just starting. Just... Francis, oh, do you no, want to chime in? Like Wasn't there a time in this country? To... Girl, that was a time. Okay. No, do you took yes. yes. You chime in. <laughs> we didn't we we gave we gave the, the people who were having their happy thoughts in their own little world. Yeah. We gave them space to run free, like a nice field with, <laughs> with, with like carpeting on the edge on the fence so they don't hurt themselves. Right. Like, well, Clay. But, but what we didn't do, what we didn't there was a time in this country where, where we didn't give a platform to crazy. That's right. That's right. Okay. The nap time and juice. And lots of hugs. Angela V. Shelton of the Detroit Shelton's Prescription. Nappy time, juice box.